We are working, working to keep your family safe in this extreme heat. Now, before you head outside, we're talking about skin cancer because this Sunday is Melanoma Awareness Day. Did you know that skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in our country? In fact, Arizona ranks number two in the world for skin cancer cases. Only Australia has more. ABC 15's Brian McElhatton is live in Scottsdale. And I know, Brian, you're with a doctor who has a lot of tips that could keep us safe this morning. That's right, Connie. Good morning. In the last hour, we told you what to look for when you're checking out your own body for anything that looks suspicious, moles that change uh, shape or color or anything like that. Now we're going to tell you about the sun damage that you might not notice at first, uh, but that you can definitely have examined. This is Dr. Shapiro. And uh, what are we looking for here as far as uh, sun damage goes? Well, when somebody comes in, what we're looking for uh, are the, the things that manifest themselves as sun damage. And a lot of people aren't aware that sun damage cause all these problems or, or things that you see. Obviously, we look for wrinkles. Um, and the next thing we look for are irregular pigmentation. You can see on uh, on this space that there are areas of redness and then other areas that it seem to be mottled. The freckling also uh, uh, sometimes are indications of sun damage and often uh, can be precursors of, of, of cells that uh, can grow on to, to cancer. Um, a lot of people don't know, but, but sun damage also presents itself as pores that become larger uh, and also, uh, you know, irregular pigmentation, as I said. And, and what we're talking about today is the Visi machine is this new spectra analysis machine that, that uh, we have that is able to give you a template. So it's able to actually document all of this uh, so you can see what your skin actually looks like. And then we can customize some skin care uh, uh, protocol for that. And we we can actually evaluate in the future to see how um, uh, effective it is. And just 10 seconds left, but uh, you're offering some, some free time with that machine for people to come in and get their skin checked out, we right? Are. We think it's really important for people to understand where they're at uh, in terms of, you know, for future reference to see if there's anything they should be alarmed about. This can even uh, uh, document whether there's bacteria. So for the month of June, we're offering a free analysis with the Visium machine, and that's about $150 value. Okay, guys, again, checking your skin is so important. So if you want to learn how to get in on that deal, head over to our website, abc15.com, and we'll tell you how to do it. Just uh, stay safe out there when you're in the sun this weekend. All right, thanks, Brian. Good morning. Say, ladies, you're going to the pool, you're going to the beach. What sunblock and sunscreen should you use in this 100 SPF? Should you really trust it? We're going to tell you why you might not want to do that. Well, now back to the heat alert. Whether you're at the pool today, exercising, simply walking outside, we're all susceptible to skin damage, and so we want to keep you safe. ABC's Brian McElhatton is live at a doctor's office in Scottsdale for us this morning. And, Brian, even the slightest damage can put you at risk for skin cancer. You know, it's true, and if you want to avoid having some work done on your skin a little bit later in life, start putting on that sunscreen now. But we want to warn you, when you go to the store and you see some of these S SPF numbers, be very wary of that. Jacqueline Jones is going to tell us why. That 100 SPF is a little suspicious, isn't it? Yes, right now the FDA is going to come out, and there's not going to be 100 pluses on the market anymore. Really, you want to get an S a broadband SPF of, of 30 to place on your skin, and you want to reapply it every hour, hour and a half. Um, if you don't, you're not going to get the coverage and it's not going to protect your skin and this is one of the best things you can do to, pr to protect your skin from aging brown spots and the dilated blood vessels on your face as you begin to age so that's what we want to start and you want to leave with always reapplying the sunscreen every hour and a half okay. and using it don't use it sparingly use a lot yeah use a lot of it every hour and a half guys so keep that in mind when you head out this weekend because it is going to be sunny Connie keep reapplying it thanks Brian